Hi, I'm Nicole Austin with the Sean Petit Design Team, and I'm here for Quick Tip Tuesday. And I just wanted to share with you a quick tip that I have. Um, I think we've all had this problem when working with acrylic paint. Sometimes we get distracted or busy and we end up with dried paint on our paintbrushes and we don't know what to do, so we just throw them away. But I wanna tell you, don't throw away your dried up brushes, even with acrylic paint on them. Um, you can easily clean them off with using some alcohol, rubbing alcohol that you can find at the pharmacy or any store, and you just pour a little bit into a little yogurt cup or some kind of, you know, cup that you're not going to use again for food or anything. Um, you don't need a whole bunch. Just pour just enough so that the tip of the brush um, is covered. And you want to use a cup that, you know, when you place the brush inside, it doesn't tip over. So something kind of short and sturdy. And you can just place all your brushes in just like that and leave it aside for a few minutes and it should begin dissolving the acrylic paint pretty quickly and we'll check that. And if you go back and check on it, within less than a minute you'll see that the brushes already, the tip already starts to, is a little bit, is pliable. So you can see that even after just a few seconds, let's say I put a timer on so it's just a little bit over a minute now, but within a few seconds, like it was 30 seconds, it just started to get a little bit pli you know, pliable and you can see the paint is starting to kind of melt right off. Um, and you can help it along by sort of washing it off, kind of like you would dip it in water and just sort of brush it along the bottom of the cup. And just give it a little bit and you can see the color of the water starting to change as the paint is coming off. And then you just wash it off once they are soft again you can see the brushes i mean this was like totally rock solid now it's back to being soft um all you have to do is just run it under your sink like you would you know when you're just washing off brushes with um, soap and water and you should have a good brush again so i let the brushes sit in the alcohol for about 10 minutes took them out and just rinsed them under the sink and washed them out with some soap and water and now you can see they are ready to use again. Another fun way to use isopropyl alcohol is to make your own alcohol ink. And it's pretty simple. You just need um, your isopropyl alcohol and some powder or liquid dye that you would use like for tie dye. This is Jacquard Procyon MX dye and you know, in whatever color you'd like and any kind of little bottle. Um, I like the squeeze bottles that have the little fine tip because then you can cut the tip to see, um, or cut, to, cut the tip um, as narrow or wide as you'd like. First you just take your bottle and you want to make sure that the tip is not cut yet because you're going to have to shake it to mix everything up. So I think it's just better if you leave that till the end. Just unscrew the cap add about half, so these are one ounce bottles, so you want half an ounce of water. And then you can take your dye, and this is the part that gets kind of messy, so make sure you have, like this is just a little plastic lid of a container. Just make sure you have um, something protecting your surface. You might want to wear gloves too. You can see it's already stained my hands, but oh well. Um, and then I have um, a half a teaspoon scooper it's just easier, um, you want to do actually a full teaspoon, but the half teaspoon is a little bit smaller and easier to get into the jar. So you're just gonna do two of these scoops to, to make a full teaspoon. And then in order to get the dye into the little container, the best way I found is just to make a little tiny funnel, just take a scrap paper, um, fold it up into kind of a little cone shape and then just kind of stick it into the in there, just so that you can still see down into the center. And that way you can get your powder in. 
Um, okay, so then you've got the water, you've got the powder, then just screw the cap on and just sort of shake it up. It's best if you use um, warm water too. Warm water will easily, it'll dissolve a little bit easier and it won't get stuck on the bottom. Just kind of shake it a little bit, mix it up until you don't really see any of the powder floating around. Um, unscrew the cap after you've shaken it up a little bit and then just add a little bit of your alcohol in. You want to go ahead and fill up the rest. So this is about half an ounce. right in and then put the cap back on and then shake it up again make sure you get that mixed really good okay and then you want to go ahead and cut just a little bit and you'll see you kind of see in the tip where the how far it's going to go up but you can actually cut just a tiny tip off that way you get like a nice controlled drip so after you've filled your bottles and mixed up all your inks, be sure to label them. And I like these bottles because they have a little bit of a white um, patch on them, specifically for labeling. Be sure to save one of your extra little um, squeeze bottles for the alcohol so that you can drip that onto your um, project. So a lot of times what I like to use is glossy photo paper. Um, Yupo paper works really the best, but it's kind of expensive. So if you're looking for a kind of a bargain, um, glossy photo paper is, is something kind of a alternative. So just, you know, make sure, shake up your ink and then you can just drop a couple little drops on there. Um, kind of work quickly so it doesn't um, dry too quick. And then you can add your alcohol in there and just sort of let it kind of pool around while it's still kind of wet. And you get lots of fun little um, shapes and some of them will blend. And you'll notice because when you use the uh, powder dye, you will get a little bit of residue, so you get some little specks in there, but I like that because it gives it a little bit of a texture. If it really bothers you, I would definitely use the liquid dye to make your alcohol ink. Mm -hmm.